Hey guys, it's XS again at Team Eternal. Today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu 1110 uh, side by side with Windows. Uh, this will be a complete install. This will not be installed inside Windows or uh, have anything to do with Windows. It will have its own partition on the local hard drive. Uh, therefore, it will be a dedicated uh, uh, Linux box along with Windows as an option. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is take a uh, current Windows PC that I have here and uh, we're going to resize the hard drive, repartition it, and uh, boot from an Ubuntu CD and go ahead and install Linux. So uh, to start, uh, we're going to do some maintenance real quick. Uh, what you want to do first is a disk cleanup. In order to do that, to do that you have to go into uh, click start, go into computer, and then select the hard drive that you're going to install Linux on. So what I'm going to do is install it on drive C, <clears throat> which is right here. Hit properties on drive C and hit disk cleanup. Alright, so once disk cleanup pops up, what you're going to do is select all the options here and uh, go ahead and just make sure everything's selected. Hit OK. Delete files. And let it clean your computer up. Alright, so that's all cleaned up. Um, next step is uh, go into your control panel. If you install Linux um, via the other method I posted earlier, which was uh, download the exe file, run inside Windows, and all that stuff, you're going to uninstall that now. So open control panel up <clears throat> and go to programming features. And we are going to browse for the Ubuntu install. You just type in Ubuntu. Alright, so there's Ubuntu. Go ahead and hit uninstall change. And it's asking you if you're sure you want to install Ubuntu. So hit, hit uninstall and that's it. Once that's done, go ahead and give the computer a quick reboot just to make sure everything's okay. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's you know let Windows refresh itself. And uh, another reason I want to reboot is to make sure the Ubuntu is completely uninstalled. That is, you know, as far as the, the grub and make sure the Windows bootloader was restored properly. So we're going to check that out now. And there you go. There's no more option to select Ubuntu. So I mean the, um, the uninstall was, was successful. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and download the uh, Linux ISO, which is a, um, a CD image. And we're going to burn that to a CD so you can boot from it and go ahead and install all our links via that way. You can also do a, a USB install if you don't have a CD-ROM. So if you have like a netbook or something like that, you can download the USB install, um, boot from USB in your netbook, and install it that way. But I'm not going to do that way. I'm just going to do the CD. It's a lot, a lot easier, and I don't have a USB pen drive right now on me. So, so what you're going to do is open up uh, uh, if you have Internet Explorer, Firefox, or Chrome. Go ahead and open that up. This thing's still booting up, so I'll give you a second here. Alright, so go go ahead and uh, go to Ubuntu.com. They have a new Ubuntu out, 12.04. Um, <clears throat> being that it's the same process, and I'm curious anyway, you know, I know how anyone knows with new betas, they always want to try something out. So let's go ahead and get the uh, new 12.04 LTS and give it a shot. Alright, so let's go ahead and download this. Make sure I get the right version here. Okay. I'm going to download the um, the 32-bit version because the 64-bit uh, requires a little more 
Um, files will be installed if you're doing like uh, Android modifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and well, wait a minute, see here. No, never mind. I'm gonna see for a bit. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and download this. This is beta two. It says here. So I'm guessing beta two is the last one. Yeah, I don't see no more. I see beta two in here. That's it. So um. This, while this is downloading, let me go ahead and get us CDs so I can pop in here and start burning it. You can use a, uh, a regular CDR. Don't give me a DVD. It's only 699 megabytes. If you're down like uh, Savion Linux, stuff like that, you would need a bigger, you need a DVD then because there are a lot bigger installs. So while that's downloading, I'm going to go ahead and get Image Burn. Image Burn is a great program to burn uh, ISOs and files to the CD. It works a lot better than the uh, built-in um, burning software, that kind of windows like this right here. That's freaking junk. So go ahead and get this. <clears throat> Actually, if you go to ImageBurn's website, it's imageburn.com. Click on download and go to Mirror 7. Uh, that is direct the direct mirror for ImageBurn. You're going to go through all the uh, advertisements and stuff like that. So go ahead and download that, let that install. So that's downloaded now. Um, this is also good if you have like Windows XP or uh, Windows uh, 2000 or whatever it is you have this stuff and it doesn't have a default uh, ISO uh, burn software, Image Burn is great for that. If you want to burn like MP3s or uh, and anything you want to burn to a CD and you want the CD to be sealed and locked, Image Burn is the, the program to do it. It's free, small, easy to use. Go ahead and run that. Remember to uh, read what you're installing because um, sometimes it's going to install extra software but yeah, it's free. So you want to make sure you don't, you know, you wouldn't read what you're doing. If not, you're going to end up with a bunch of toolbars and stuff like that, stuff you don't really want. Now if it asked me if I wanted to check for an updated versions, I would know because I can do it myself. Alright, so this here is Image Burn. As you can see, it has uh, a few options here. It says write file to disk, write folders, um, create image, uh, verify disk, discover, and uh, create image file from folders. So you can basically uh, take a CD, pop it in here, and actually make an ISO with this program too. So it's got a lot of cool features, and for being free, you can't really complain. This is a whole lot better than Roxio and, and all the other expensive, overweight, bloated programs out there. So I'm going to let it download, and when it's done, I'll continue. Alright guys, I got the uh, Ubuntu 1204 almost downloaded here. Okay. So what we're going to do is, in image burn, we're going to write image file to disk. So we'll go ahead and select that option there. And we're going to browse for it. Use them a little bit here. There you go. We're going to browse for the image, which is on my desktop. Um, it says there is a verify mode here. Basically what that does is after it's done burning, um, it's going to scan the CD to make sure there's no errors on it. Um, I'm going to turn mine off because I don't really care for that. Um, you can set your write speed to the minimum or the maximum, depending on how you want to do it. The, the lower you do it, the better it is. But, you know. And just let, let it burn. Uh, when this is done, we'll go ahead and boot from the city and continue on. Alright guys, like the city is done burning. Now, the next step is this. Um, if you're in Windows 7, go to Control Panel and type in uh, Partition. Okay. Um, what you're going to see pop up is a thing that says Administrative Tools and it says Create and Format Hard Disk Partitions. So go ahead and click that you're going to get a uh, little disk management box pop up here. 
So let that load. It's going to take a little while depending on how many hard drives you have. Okay, and we are going to select um, the drive you want to install Linux on. In this case, I'm going to select um, drive C. So let's go ahead and go to C real quick. And we're going to right click drive C and hit shrink volume. Alright, we have a pop up here asking how small you want me to partition. Um, I'm not going to make it too small. Um, the current size is 476 gigabytes. Um, I'm just going to take probably uh, 76 gigs out of here for Linux and leave the 400 for Windows. So um, what I'm going to do is type in, um, I'm going to type in 76000, that's 76,000 megabytes, and just hit shrink. Alright, as you can see we have 74 gigs sitting right here on a located space. And we have 391 gigs sitting over here for drive C for Windows. So this is done. So let's go ahead and hit restart. And now we are going to boot from the CD that is still in the uh, CD-ROM drive. Alright, looks like the C is booting up here. Sometimes it takes a while to get to the C to boot, um, just because it's reading the files off the CD and putting it into your memory. Um, it doesn't touch a hard drive, so it's not as fast, because it's all running from a CD-ROM. Um, but once you get to this point, you'll see a setup menu pop up here shortly. Alright, so where's the setup menu? You have two options, it's try Ubuntu and install Ubuntu. Um, if you hit try Ubuntu, you get, you get to see if all your drivers are working, uh, your Wi-Fi, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and click install Ubuntu. And let's see here, it's basically telling you, uh, it's doing a quick check here to see if you have, how much, if you have enough disk space available, uh, if you're plugged in, if you're on, connected to the internet. Uh, there's also a few here to download updates while I'm installing. And then install third por third party uh, software. It's basically MP3 stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and install that so I can have uh, be able to play music with my Ubuntu. Alright, we're at the installation menu. The first option says install Ubuntu alongside the operating system, which is Windows uh, 7. Uh, the second option is, is, is erase the disk and install Ubuntu. This is for the whole entire hard drive. We don't want to do that one. And the third one is something else. Something else basically lets you do an advanced setup install. Let's you uh, view the partition you created, um, uh, resize it, edit it, make your swaps, and all that good stuff. I'm going to set the first option for now and hit install now. This should automatically detect the free space we created, uh, that free partition, and uh, use it and install Ubuntu on that. Now it's asking your location, continue there. The setup one is very easy. It's you know step by step. It's it's not hard at all. So just you know just go through the menu and select the options you want here. And let it run the setup. And after this is done, you should be installed inside Ubuntu. All right, guys. Installation complete. We're going to restart the computer now. And uh, now we have Grub installed which is the uh, bootloader for uh, Linux. It replaces the Windows bootloader. Alright, this here is Grub. As you can see, it has the, uh, the Windows on here and uh, the Ubuntu. Mine's showing two Windows here, that's because I have two hard drives and one of the hard drives um, has a recovery partition on it so it thinks it's Windows so I have to take care of that later on. 
But for now, let's go ahead and boot to Ubuntu and uh, check it out. Let's see if your drivers are installed or if we have to configure any drivers. You probably got to work on the video driver or something like that. Typical thing. Alright, looks like we're in. Um, first things first, we have to fix this display. So go up here up to the dashboard and type in display. Okay. As you can see, I have uh, two monitors here. I have one here and one here. And right now, the display is mirrored. So whatever I do on this display shows up on this display. So we'll go ahead and fix that. So what we're going to do is uh, fix the first display. It says mirror displays. We're going to uncheck that. On the laptop display, I'm going to fix the resolution. And then on the other display, I'm going to go to adjust it to where it's sitting. Go ahead and hit apply. And as you want to keep the configuration, you say yeah, keep. And now we have two separate displays showing uh we both got we both we look like we have two um two of these toolbars here which is pretty cool i mean it's all right i guess um <clears throat> but as you can see you can drag and drop stuff if you adjust your displays just right it you know depending on where you have them you can do all kind of stuff um <clears throat> so go ahead and close this out now let's say i have a driver update this probably like a video driver uh, no, actually it's a wireless driver. Um, let's just say it's currently activated. So the Wi-Fi should work. Yeah, there's my Wi-Fi there. So it's showing uh, all the connections I have for Wi-Fi. And that's it. it looks like uh, we're in Ubuntu. And uh, this is uh, currently the beta version. Ubuntu 11.10 is the same install as this. It's no different, um, so don't worry about that. And like, oh, well, I want, I want the official. You can get the official. Follow this guy. The same thing. No different install. Um, yeah, everything's everything's working. We have sound. Um, see my hotkeys should be working. Yeah, see, hotkeys work. Volume works. And uh, internet should work. Let's see. Yep, there's the internet. So this is the Ubuntu install. This is X set of Team Nocturnal. Um, if you want more videos like this, go ahead and post in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe.